Hello, it's Andrew Bartlett. I am a full-time student at Fayetteville State University pursuing a Bachelor of Science in Management Information Systems. My contact information is 910-273-5256 and my email address is listed over here. All right, and this is a basic video of a database I created for a uh, pretty much a, a landlord or a real estate agent. Um, and anyway, so let's commence with the video. Okay, now I placed the access database right over here just for one moment because upon opening, it's going to go right directly to my tables of contents menu. So. All right, and if we want to quit access and we want to quit the program, just hit right here, and it goes right back. Okay, these are com some command buttons I made it. I made on access, uh, pretty simple ones, but anyways. Um, so if we were to open up the tenant form and enter in that information, so let's say we were going to add and this is split screen view, so you can look at all the and these are just made up information for the client. Uh, we're going to obviously delete this information, but anyways, let's look this up here. So if you're going to add a record, we're going to add a client. All right, tenant ID. So we already have uh, five tenants. You see it right down here. So we have five. So this will be our sixth tenant. And unit ID. All of them are unique, so... We're going to make this one, because I'm going to use this address just for example. Um, let's make this one on here. So let's use, let's make it 11. And name. Phone number. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, address this is important right here um, address to be this same address right here so got drop down menu which links the data from the uh, for the real estate from that we create on here so it's gonna be this one one two one wonderful street okay um, and you've already had a rent to own so he's not gonna rent to own you just gonna be on time and the months Let's make it uh, 720 because, well, mathematically, we're doing it by months. So 12 months times a 60-year mortgage, which is crazy, but I mean, it's a very long time. So it's 720 months. So let's put that in there. Payments made, let's say, made 10 payments. And he is rented. He's only renting one. And he let's say he just paid today. So oh and it's Halloween. Yep. So he just paid today. And there we go. Now we just refresh information. And there we go. Now let's go and close this. Now let's go and open the tenant form. Let's see here, open the tenant the, the tenant report. So I'm just going to refresh the information right here, and lo and behold, we got um, let's see here. We got six tenants before we had five, and let's look for our. Oh, well, there's our name example. So and it's all linked up to the property values. So we have. So he's paid 720 months, and the sale value of the price because you know the. You know the tenants pay retail, not wholesale. So, and pretty much it's the months divided by the sale value equals the payments, and then he paid ten payments. So ten times this equals this, and this minus this. You know the payment value, how much he's paid. Subtract so the sale value equals this. So there you go. And all right, and now let's go ahead and close this. All right, 
And let's open up a, uh, the financial form. Now we're not going to add anything new because we already have quite a few up here. <laughs> we have three addresses. And now this opens this up just for example. Um, if we were, and of course with the buttons on here, you go to your next form, your next form, back, back, your last form, your last report, your first report, and if you want to delete a record, you give me the warning, we're not going to do so, and we can close. And let's open up the financial report. So, this part's kind of interesting here. So, we have the vacancy rate, because we have one unit rented, divided by 10, equals pretty much 10%. And all your expenses, you know, I even had it listed out here, your, um, the, I delete it, but uh, all your expenses minus your revenue and equals your profit and your loss. So pretty much this is your, your profit off the value. And all the way down the line, down the row, and you see here's your total profit added all the way up to here. So this is all the property's profit or loss, and all your expenses, okay? And your vacancy rate, which is all your properties, all your properties, uh, the units that you have available, like right here, divided by all the units rented total. So it divides all that number in there. So anyways, and that, that's pretty much it for that part over there. And of course, I created the ta the um, and I used the tax rate for whatever tax rate your state may use. We can close this report. And so, just for example, on the um, on the financial form, wait, close financial form. Um, I set the tax rate at seven percent. And that's going to be multiplied by the original purpose uh, purchasing of the house. So pretty much that's your uh, operating original operating cost uh, taxing that out however which way you want to operate it and, and let me go over to let me close this one for a moment go to the tenant wait open up the tenant form for one minute now let's go ahead and search for the name uh, name example got right there now, now we're on our name example, or if you want to just do a drop down menu, here's all the people. So now you're on the form, just creating that. And the date paid is very important, so you keep track of like, hey, who paid last? If they're a month behind, hey, you got the last day they paid. So anyway, so you know, I got the, pretty much a search bar right in here is pretty easy. And same way as for the, uh, Financial form, you got the address search, you got many addresses, you can go through this way, or the date search, the date that you purchased the property. So, we're already on that. So, all right, here we go. There's that the first property, second property, I guess, and that is it for right here. And when you want to close the quit access, yeah, quit access again. Alright, thank you for watching the video. I hope this um, provides some information a little bit on uh, what I've been a bit of what I've been what I've been developing lately. So and this is my contact information was listed be prehense, so beforehand. So anyways, have a wonderful night and thank you for watching.